In this After Effects tutorial, I am going to show you guys how to create a dynamic text animation using some inbuilt properties of the text. Sounds cool, but the animation is even cooler. I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. I'll call this title 1920 by 1080, 60 FPS and 10 seconds long. Hit OK. Let's hit Control Y to create a new solid. Call this PG for background. Let's go into Windows, Effects and Presets. And I'll add a gradient RAM really quick. Set this to radial and really quick create a nice looking background. Something like increase the ramp scatter to 200 so we don't get any kind of color bendings. And yeah, that is looking for a good start. Let's select the text tool and type in the text that you want. You can of course type in anything or any text that you want. I'm going to set the size of the text to 200. And for the font, I'll go with go bold. I'll mention the download link to this font in the description below. And let's type in design. Align it into the center. And I'll set the Turning to zero. Okay, so the, here we have our text. Now let's now let's start building up the animation. So the first thing that we need to do is go into the animate section, click on this icon, and add a position. Let's rename this animator to up because this animator will move the words in the top direction. Set this one to around fifty. Then go into the range selector one and animate the offset. So let's go to one second actually. Create a keyframe on the offset. Go to two seconds and set this to 25. So we have a very basic animation. Then go into advanced properties, turn on the randomize order and now the Now the letter will move randomly. You can also play around with the C to get the desired look. So I'll go with something maybe something like this. So we have a very simple animation like that. Then let's close this up. Select it, hit Control D to duplicate it. Let's rename this to DO for down. And then move the position to minus 50. Now let's go into the advanced properties and play around with the randomized seed to get the desired look. Maybe something like that. And now you see we have a very random animation. You can anytime play around with the seeds of the up and down animation. To get the desired look, maybe I'm going looking for something like that. That looks much cooler. So you can see, looks really nice. Now, to get that snappy animation, you need to select all the keyframes, hit F9, and then go into the graph editor, right click and select edit speed graph, move the time indicator in between the keyframes, and then drag the handle just like so. So that is how you get this nice snappy animation as you can see, but you also have an easier way. You can achieve this animation or this kind of graph using the animation composer. So it's a free After Effects extension and with that comes the animation composer keyframe wingman tool which will help which is this one which is going to help us to achieve this kind of graphs really easily as you can see. So I'm going to set this all the way up to 100.
And now to add the same animation on a different keyframe, all you need to do is click on this icon and it's gonna use the properties of this uh, script and copy the same graph. Now this is not a promotion or you know, a brand promo. This is not a brand promotion. This is a script that I genuinely use. It is absolutely free. So you can download it from the description below. And I will be using this script for the rest of the tutorial so that I don't need to, you know, do the same thing again and again. So you can see we have achieved the nice snappy look. Let's really quickly add a scale animation as well. So I'll select the layer, select the text layer, hit S to bring down the scale properties, create a keyframe, go to two seconds and set this to 120. Select it and just apply this. We have something like this. Nice and simple. Now let's go ahead, go into animate and let's add a tracking. I'll rename this to track underscore 01 because we will also use one more tracking. So yeah, track underscore 01. Let's go at one second and I'll set this to around maybe 10. Create a keyframe, go right over here at two seconds and let's bring the lad bring the alphabets closer, select the keyframe and select and click on this icon. So we have this really cool look. Let's go into effects and presets and add a transform. Double click to apply that up and I'll skew this up by minus five degrees. So I'll go to two seconds create a keyframe on the skew property, go back at one second and set this to zero and select and apply this. So we get a really interesting look as you can see. That is looking so sweet. Now let's build up, let's uh, add a built up animation for our text. So to do that, I'll add a opacity. Let's rename this animator to built or you can also call it opacity, whatever that you want. Then let's set the opacity to zero. Create a keyframe on the end property. Actually, I think it will be the start property. So I'll create a keyframe on the start property. Go to one second and set this to 100 this time I'm going to select the keyframes and just hit F9 to ease, ease it because I want a linear animation for this. And then what I, I can do is let's add one more tracking. So I'll go into animate and add tracking called this track two. There we go. And then I can just add a little bit of tracking here. So I'll go somewhere around there. Let's bring this a bit closer. I'll make this minus uh, 20. Create a keyframe, go somewhere around there and set this to zero. Select it, hit F9, go into the graph editor. And this time I'm going to create a different curve. So I'll select the handle and drag it to the left and this one to the left as well. Something like this. Now we just need to match the timing so i'll just move this a bit forward and now the text reveals and it gives a sense of hit maybe i'll bring them a bit closer yep that is looking really cool now let's see the complete animation yep maybe a bit to the right Yep, that is looking very cool. So there you go. Very simple and easy to create a dynamic text animation. You can also save this as a preset. So you don't need to create this complete animation. You can just drag and drop it. And I have a tutorial on how to create presets for After Effects, but really quickly, I'll just show you some simple steps to do it. So I'll select all the properties that I added, go into animation, 
save as animation preset and then you can call it anything let's call it dynamic text and all you need to do is save it then i'll go into animation and preset use a preset and there you have the dynamic text all i need to do is type in another text so something like typo and let's just drag and drop that preset on this and there you go you have your text now if you don't if you're not happy with the positioning you can always play around with the random seed and yeah there you go there you have your dynamic text animation so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this really cool kind of a quick tip tutorial and if you did then do let me know in the comment section below i would love to read all your comments and of course reply to them as well and yeah i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative